blue skies and dry air over the Colorado Front Range on Friday was a result of high pressure moving into the area. Even a small high pressure system like this one is referred to as a ridge because it acts like a divider or a blockade between storm systems. This ridge only covered a few states and will last less than 24 hours. Next week, there is a much stronger ridge in the forecast that will likely cover the entire western half of the United States and last six days or more. Those extended high pressure systems have become informally known as mega ridges. And so I think we're, we're starting to come to terms with that, I think, in a you know warming 21st century climate. But sometimes it's the high pressure systems that are the villains, actually. Daniel Strain with the University of California, Los Angeles, studies big western ridges for the National Center for Atmospheric Research. He says drought and fire danger slowly swell underneath these big western ridges. He coined the term ridiculously resilient ridge, or triple R, for the mega ridge that lasted nearly two years and caused the California drought of 2015. A mega ridge was mostly responsible for the summer, fall heat wave and drought that led to the record-breaking wildfire season in 2020 one of last year's many billion dollar disasters. Strain says it's too early to tell how long the ridge that will form next week will last, but his research has shown that the mega ridge may become a regular part of the future climate. You know, there has been a trend towards seeing this more pronounced western ridging um, in winter. Even if it's not there all the time, the frequency where, that we see these sorts of super high amplitude patterns has increased. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News.